Okay, here we are, T1. Basket's off to the uh, left there today. So I think the strategy for uh, recording this is just to take a couple, a, a short clip in between. So here we are at the T. Okay, we're about halfway there. And here's where my drives are. Always a good way to start out the day is with a par on this hole, which is what I have done. Par ball. On to hole two. And here we are at T2. And the pin is in the short position, which is just over there. Okay, so we're about halfway. And there's the uh, basket right out there. So, okay, here we are, hole two. I'll go ahead and just par okay here we go to t3 it's gonna take a couple holes well several holes before I get out acclimated to the altitude this is the hole that I stuck a disc up in the tree I'm wondering if it's still there so okay I'm standing on t3 the basket is straight out there between those two uh, tall ponderosa pine, big pines. And there is no more Mandy. No more Mandy on that stump. Okay, I have a putt from here. I can possibly make this. Uh, what you don't want to do is go past it that way because that's a big drop off there. Or down here. Lots of nasty uh, buckthorn down there, and down there too. I better put the pack down. Go on there. Whoo, par. Okay, it's Memorial Day, and I'm making a change here because they uh, managed to clear a path for us for uh, hole four because the trees had come down and had uh, pretty much destroyed the path or blocked the path that uh, we had for it. So I'm um, going over here. Here is the uh, T and the hole is out over that way there. Uh, there's some people out there and we'll then take a walk on the path here in a moment. Okay, so this is the uh, new path for hole four. As you can see here, we've got this tree. Actually, there's two trees that came down here. They've cleared a path for us over here. So now we're cutting through the buckthorn over here. The path used to be over here. And we come out to where the old path was, right here. And I'm gonna go up here to where my drive was. And it's made in the shade. The hole is, is a, oh, they moved it, so it's in the long position today. Okay, so the hole is actually out past those trees there. Okay, so they moved the hole on us, the pin, new pin, uh, pin position's in the long position, which you can't see from the uh, T. So we're going to go and show you where it is. Come down. 
path. Normally, the pin basket is in a short position right here, but today, and on the second round of the showdown, the basket will be in the long position, which is out here, past the trees. And really where you want to be on your drive is over here, long four. Here we go, T5. Wow, different look. A few trees cut down. Well, this is the uh, fairway of five. As you can see, we have a major tree that is snapped off and that it also took with it this uh, tree over here. So, and I was able to get by here on my first shot whereas I would have normally knocked that tree hit that tree so I'm instead up here so it's a good thing and we're about halfway there you can see the uh, basket right there this is my forehand archon it has uh, put me like right here and there's my uh, first drive so now it's time to Maybe get a birdie and get rid of that bug that I just got. Okay, so this is T6 in the basket today. Well, most of the time it is in the short position, which is just over there. You can kind of see it peeking out behind the tree there. And the ideal way to go is to get the disc up to that uh, fallen tree right there or the stump, and yeah, then you can get a birdie out of it. Trying to get up, hyzer up, is very difficult. Okay, so you can see we're about halfway. Both discs, one was a backhand, the other was a forehand, wound up right next to each other. <laughs> so we'll go through the trees. But we have a shot. There's the basket, right there. Well, here we are, hole six. One of them, at least I got a par out of it, so I'm still uh, one over, unfortunately. No, I'm one, one, I'm even. That's right, because I got a birdie on the last hole. <laughs> Can't forget that. Anyways, uh, one, one made it through, the other two didn't. But I parted. it. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so we're in a short position. I'm gonna head over to T7. And this one has a Mandy. Here we are on T7. Mandy is the first uh, big pine tree on the right. Had to stay to the left. There you go. And the basket is right over there. Here's hole seven. Uh, actually parallel to uh, T5 and uh, it's going to be going in conserve mode for the next two holes so uh, be real quick here. Okay so the other day I uh, there was a, a tree that came down just missed the basket. Today they have cut the tree out in front of the basket so now you have a clear shot at the basket. Although the fallen tree hasn't been removed a uh, section of it has in front of the basket, and the basket is right there in between the trees. Here's hole eight. Now we'll go on to T9, which is right over here. Okay, here we're coming up to T9. And the basket is straight dead ahead uh, between 
that pull for the ski lift and the tree. You can see that couple walking up towards it now. And it's all uphill. Okay, so I'm about halfway. You can see the basket up over there, just past the uh, support for the lift in that pine tree. Got to watch it because uh, it's all hard pack up there, so it skips real quick. And there's a drop off right by it, uh, just to the left of the basket. So that's the trick is to keep it up above and not get it down below. Here we go. So here we are walking up to hole nine. And it looks like there's a bunch of stuff that was cleared out of here because there used to be all kinds of stuff over here. So this is what I mean. You wanna be up here where I am right now. And there we go, get my par. And that concludes the front nine. And I wound up even. Well, lucky me. It's a good start for the season. Time to head on up to the lodge and tee off for 10.